In this tutorial, we'll be going over the blog module. The blog module is a simple way to display a list of posts from any category. When combined with sidebars, you can create standard blog-like layouts. The blog module comes in two different designs, either the standard in which posts are displayed in a single vertical row, or you can do the tiled blog layout, which displays them um, in a grid fashion. So let's go over how to create a blog module. Now, before you add the blog module, you'll first need to create some posts. So in, the, in your WordPress dashboard, click Post, Add New to create a new post. Enter your title and your text for the post, and be sure to always include a featured image. You can click the Set Featured Image link, and then choose an image that you'd like to use as your featured image for that post and then click Set Featured Image. These images are used as the thumbnail images within the blog module. Now once you create several posts and or categories, you can display them using the blog module. Let's show you how. Here's a standard page. I like to display uh, a list of my recent blog posts next to a sidebar, like a normal blog. To do that, I'm going to first add a new section and then add a new row with two columns. I'm going to put my sidebar in a one-fourth column and my blog in a three-fourths column. So I'm going to choose this row. Now let's add the sidebar first. So I'm going to do that by clicking in the Insert Module button and clicking the Sidebar Module. I put my sidebar on the right, so I'm going to say that the orientation is right. And click Save. Now let's add our blog module. Click the Insert Module button, locate the blog module. Now you can choose your layout as described earlier. You can do full width or grid. I'm going to keep it full width. You can choose how many posts you want to display per page. After that, there'll be a next page link. I'm going to do six. You can also choose which categories you'd like to display in this particular feed of posts, which is uh, an easy way to create different categories of uh, or different uh, yeah, categories of posts on different pages if you like. So in this particular page I'm just going to display the posts from the blog category. You can choose your date format. Um, if you're not familiar with um, PHP date formats, um, read below this video. We uh, have a great link for a resource for that. Um, you can choose whether or not you'd like to display your featured image. If you turn this off then you're uh, blog posts will not include a thumbnail image. You can choose whether or not to show your text content in excerpt format or um, to show um, them the actual full content, the beginning of the content. Um, you can choose whether or not to display your author link, uh, and choose whether or not to display the date, choose whether or not to display categories, and choose whether or not to uh, display pagination. You can also choose your text color, so if the module is on top of a light background, you want to choose dark text, as is in this case, and the ad admin label. So I have everything set. I'm going to click Save. My blog module has been added. Now if I preview the changes, you can see that a new blog feed has been added, a sidebar on the right. If you scroll all the way down, you can uh, click to the next page. So this works just like a regular old blog category. Now I can go back and switch the layout as well if I decide I like to use the grid instead. So here we have the grid format. And that's about it. That is the basic overview of the blog module.